Yeah. My right to the full enjoyment of my property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, it means at the least that your property may not constitutionally be taken from you without a judicial hearing mm -hmm. by a court that has jurisdiction over you and the property. Mm -hmm. It also means that you must have received sufficient notice for, of the purpose of the hearing mm -hmm. to prepare your defense. Mm -hmm. Exactly when did you give me notice of the disillusions of marriage? Now, uh, there's more than just my sons, right? There's all the property that we had before we moved to Guam, right? Where in 2011, you decided to give my wife everything that I own. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I was a resident of Guam at the time. Now, uh, this court, yes, this state mm -hmm, and the United States has not been enforcing the rights of the individuals known as the parties. <laughs> now, let's see. Mm -hmm. My wife abducts my sons from Guam, kidnaps them, and you as a court issue an order where she can go get, yes, everything that I owned from my mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Plymouth, Washington. Mm -hmm. She took the computer, all my corporate documents, all my... Golly. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, without a judicial hearing by a court that has jurisdiction over you and the property. Mm -hmm. What court had jurisdiction over the property that was being held at my sister's residence? Mm -hmm. Now, Clallam County, yes, mm -hmm. you issued this protection order based upon the complaint mm -hmm. of the petitioner, yes, of the arrest that took place on Guam where ye, she alleged domestic violence and child abuse. Mm -hmm. The problem is I didn't commit any domestic violence or child abuse. Mm. And then when I get here, yes, on January 7th of 2012, I stayed at my grandmother's house, right, <laughs> And then my uh, my relatives made arrangements for me to leave. Right. <laughs> and then I moved to uh, 1023 Kitchen Dick Road. Yes. I stayed there from March until December of 2012. Yes. I informed both the pastor and the assistant pastor that if they wanted me to move, they would have to go to court to move me. Yes. Because I had just gotten $400. Mm-hmm. And their way of handling the problem was to turn the electricity off. Now, at a certain point in, in December, yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't take everything I owned because I didn't plan on moving to my grandmother's. It was approximately five days before Christmas. Pew! I thought I'd go over there, stay warm until after Christmas, then move back. Yes, find a place to live and then move all my stuff. <coughs> Now, I didn't know about the homeless shelter at that time. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any notice or opportunity to be heard. Yes. You took everything I own. Yes. Without any jurisdiction of law. Then you issued a disillusion of marriage. Right. Where you arrested me at the same moment as serving me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put me in jail. Poo. And then you reissued the protection order uh, based upon the arrest instead of the actual verdict of the jury on May 31st of 2012. <laughs> now, I informed you that it was against the law. So you decided that you'd do it anyway. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was found not guilty. Mm -hmm. And instead of exp expunging, yes. Mm -hmm. Instead of enforcing that Superior Court of Guam order, yes. You decided that you continue to enforce the protection order, and then you modified it because of the testimony of Pastor Greg when I went to the First Baptist Church. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we had a private meeting, just myself and the pastor. Right now. And then, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you decided to reissue it in 2013 where you said you couldn't find me. Yes. Now, there's a duty, and then there's the duties of the sheriff. Right. <laughs> Instead of personal service, you decided to reissue the protection order for two years because of publication and mailing. Right. <laughs> Without two attempts of... Well, you took my sons. They're kidnapped. <laughs> now, this consent form, known as the publicity consent form? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the actual name Budnick is my property. Mm. 
It might be on their birth certificates, but they are not adults. Mm -hmm. And they have no legal right to use my last name. Oh, no, it's not the last name again. Yeah. I'm suing all public. <laughs>